welcome back to the RS6 and importantly, welcome back to the UK. It's been incredible. We've been in Dubai and we've, and we've been in Norway on the Team Galax Snow Tour. Comments below. I want to know what you guys have thought about the opening of this year. Anyway, today is a monumental occasion. I didn't expect to be doing it today. It is a little bit last minute, but we're going to spec the Porsche GT3. Uh, those of you who might have joined the journey early on, uh, I have been incredibly fortunate and graced with a build slot on a Mark II 991 GT3. The weird thing about today is, uh, it's the first time I've ever gone to spec a car and had pretty much no idea how it's gonna turn out. The problem is, and this is I think is only a UK specific thing, and it's a proper first world problem. <laughs> um, Porsche UK, do not allow what is known as PTS, paint to sample colors, on any GT range products. PTS is a color which is not part of the standard Porsche palette. And on GT range products, it's pretty standard. We're talking grays, few silvers, black, uh, and then the only kind of outlandish colors are Guards Red, Carmine Red, uh, Racing Yellow, and Miami Blue. Ultimately, the color I choose isn't gonna be the color that I want, uh, and I'm pretty sure that as close to day one as possible, I'm gonna try and get this car wrapped in the color, or as close to the color that I would really like this car in. So yeah, let's see what we turn out with. I genuinely have no idea at the end of this video what this car will look like. Um, but yeah, we're on our way now to Porsche Wimslow, which is just outside of Manchester, to get the spec done, see what's what. Let's hit it. So, here we are, Porsche Wimslow. As if by fate, we're parked up next to, I believe this uh, color is called the crayon. The specs right now are so up in the air. On my last GT3, I, I had the folding buckets with a roll cage. This car's got the fixed buckets out of the 918 Spider and no roll cage. Um, the reason I'm mentioning that is, it becomes a totally different car, spec dependent on seats and cage, because if you're able to fold the seats forward, you can actually use the space in the back. Whereas these seats don't fold forward, but there's no cage, so you can slide them forwards and maybe stick some bags in, in the back. I'm not sure. On the snow tour just now, a friend of ours had the uh, satin black Gen 1 GT3 folding buckets and cage, and he was still able to squash loads of bags in, in the back. So who knows, but as if by fate, seeing one right here next to our car, looks good in crayon too. Ultimately, I guess in a way, because I'm almost, I'm almost certain I'm gonna end up wrapping this car pretty soon, so it almost doesn't matter what I spec it. Um, but yeah, wrap news will come later. I might make it a complete surprise. But just seeing it, it looks so good. Anyway, inside, let's go and meet the team and uh, spec this car. This is Anthony. Hello. This fine gentleman has been sending me a few specs. Where do we start now? Because I am a blank canvas. It's this is always your car, mate. <laughs> it is. Let's go for that. <laughs> go. My choice. Yeah. Have there been any shades which have been launched specifically for? No, there haven't, no. Okay. Uh, they have for the 991 yeah. Generation 2, there was okay. graphite blue, mm -hmm. and they launched lava orange in for this, this 911, but uh, not specifically for the GT3. Basically those on the left? Yep. They're all available, are they? Absolutely. Right. Yeah, they're all there. Your previous that colour? That is my previous colour. I yeah. think it's kind of timeless, you know? I agree. And it has enough of a fleck in it that it really shows up the sculpture of the car. The contrast between the light and the dark. Yeah, it's really cool. Lots of shadows over the curves of the car. Yeah. It works really well. So let's have a look at Sapphire Under the light? It, it shows up things totally different inside, outside. The, the great thing about metallic over flat paints is when the lighting's right, it does show up the contours. Yes. One thing I've learned with flat paints, however, it doesn't matter what the conditions are outside, it's always bright. Yeah. You know what I mean? Whereas these sort of paints seem to need it's some kind of light to make it pop. the ambient light a bit more. Yeah. I mean, Guards is wicked. And that was the launch color. Right. When I get it wrapped, it's probably 
As long as the interior trim complements the exterior. Then we're okay. Then it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Guess, guess what we went for. <laughs> no, no. no, right, me either. It wasn't this one. Miami Blue. Miami Blue. You did say that, didn't you? You did say that from like you said day that. one, it was gonna be Miami Blue. Yeah, the reason being, I like thought, it. Even though it is gonna get wrapped, it's yeah. still cool to have something exciting under it. Because yeah. one day the wrap will come off, yeah. and then we've got like two yeah. cars in one. Um, and we went for contrasts, yellow stitching. Yeah. Yeah, despite that chat we had earlier, uh, <laughs> something totally different. Most people do when I put <laughs> So, comments below, if you were going to have your GT3, how would it look? Bearing in mind, in the UK, PTS, no option. <laughs> so, you've basically got these and a few silvers and greys. In the space of five minutes, we've gone, let's go that black, let's go silver, let's go yeah. them all. It's a proper first world problem, isn't it? <laughs> Miami blue. <laughs> Miami blue. Okay. Okay, so as if today couldn't get special enough, upstairs in the storage room is a very special 911 GTS. The special thing about it is Porsche have created it to celebrate the success of their British racing drivers in Le Mans. I believe there's only 40 or 45 of these cars making it to the UK and Porsche Wimslow just so happened to have one upstairs. So we're gonna go check that out quickly and then we're gonna call it a day, head off home. So what it has a standard, yeah. Yeah. Uh, obviously the, the decals, the rear axle steering, PDCC, the rear vents, hated yeah. but then the customers also expect uh, the sunroof upgraded seats upgraded headlights adaptive cruise control there's 45 cars in total okay split across three colorways okay. red white and blue 15 of each and that's 45 cars worldwide worldwide that's a super rare then super rare, Ultra rare. <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay yeah. Yeah. if you look at the um the racing badge there the 23 Oh yeah, it's right kind of the there. idea for, for your car as well. It is. Ah, that's really cool. So there we have it. I'm still sort of in disbelief that that actually just happened. I know, I mean, so that build slot was quite a last minute thing anyway. Um, but to sort of sit there and spec my own GT3 is crazy. I, I was convinced I was gonna have to try and find a low mileage pre-owned car. Nothing wrong with that at all. But the fact of it all is, um, GT3 build slots, particularly in the UK, have been super hard to find and Porsche Wimslow came through, offered me a slot. That came around about a month ago, just before Christmas. And now here we are, we're sat specking that car. I'm still sort of in disbelief that it's happening. Um, yeah, I just can't wait. I'm sort of thankful that I haven't spent any proper time in one yet because it's kind of unknown, even though it's a similar format to the Gen 1 GT3, I haven't driven any press cars, I haven't driven any friends cars, and I'm in a way actively holding off. I'm trying my best not to drive one, so I have all of the experience and unfolding of the character of that car still to come that I can share with you guys. Still in disbelief that it's actually happening. So the journey will unfold, we'll sh show you more soon. And as you heard, the car is ultimately being wrapped in the color that I wish I could have spec'd it in. So all of that yet to come. As always, thanks for watching and I shall see you next time. Ciao.